In this video, I'm going to give you seven home automation tips with NFC tags. NFC tags are little chips that can be tapped by NFC enabled devices to trigger automations and routines. These tags are very inexpensive and don't require any power source, so you can put them anywhere you want. I'm Gio from Smart Home Makers. Now let's get ready and let's roll the intro. Today's first automation is something quite close to my heart, story time. So story time enables us to tap on an NFC device and use our Google speaker to actually play a recording of someone that is reading the actual story previously. So for example, if you have a grandparent that isn't able to actually be close with their grandchild, then you can actually have them recall their voice, store that in Home Assistant and actually have this routine automation trigger that recording when they read the book. Bear and Hair read by Daddy. This can be also useful for people that have parents that are far away for other work purposes or they just deploy maybe in the military. You can also do this automation with Alexa and Sonos, but you're going to need to tweak the code a bit. The code for all of this project, you'll find it on my blog at leonardosmarthomemakers.com slash blog. Today's second automation will help us control a garage door more effectively. You can put one of these NFC tags inside your car in your dashboard, use a mobile phone to tap on it, and that can open up your garage door without actually having your key fob with you. You can also conveniently hide this tank somewhere close to your garage door and you can use your phone to detect it. Be aware, don't put it close to metal surfaces because NFC uses a magnetic field, so that won't work really well. If you want to find out more about garage openers, I've made another video and I'm going to link here and you can go check that one out after this video. Now, if you're quite forgetful and you forget to take your medicines, then this automation is going to help you out. I've created an input boolean where every day it resets and it will tell you and it will tell me if I've actually taken my medication or not. Now this can reset on a daily basis, hourly, weekly, depending on, on your configuration. When I actually do go and get take my medication, I use my mobile phone and I tap the NFC tag and that actually allows me to register the fact that I'm actually taking this. This automation can be used and this code and logic can be used for multiple purposes. We'll just give you an example. Now, quick disclaimer, don't rely on this on 100%, it's certainly gonna help you out just in case. If you're getting value at this video, like and subscribe. Now, if I reach 100 likes in this video and you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section down below. I might do a version of this video for HomeKit and actually go through how you can set this up in HomeKit. The next automation, very straightforward. I've got an LED light positioned behind my monitor and I've got my NFC tag that I use to turn it on to the preferred color scheme that I've set in the automation file. Now, this is useful because it's just inconvenient to turn it on and it could be behind the wall. Now, you could do this with voice assistant or with just a switch or a button, but you can also use NFC tags if that's what you want to do. You can hide these NFC tags wherever you want to, so you can have them under your desk, out of sight, whereas maybe a button you're going to need to change the battery uh, eventually. So you could, that's one of the advantages of having NFC tags and also the cost of these tags are, uh, are very, very uh, they're expensive. So I think I bought them for around £10, a pack of 10, 15 NFC tags. I'm going to link, I'm going to link them down in the description below so you can actually check them out yourself from Amazon. And these are affiliate links. If you click on them, I'll get a little bit of a commission, but it'll cost you nothing and that will enable you to support this channel which I'll be very grateful for. Okay, to set up these NFC tags, you're gonna need the Home Assistant app downloaded on your iPhone or Android. The important thing that has NFC as a capability and you're gonna to need to navigate to the um, config app configuration, then go down to NFC tags, and then you're gonna to need to tap right tag and pick random recommended. Now at this stage, you're ready to scan. So just scan here. You can see the big tick. So the tag has been written. You've got the tag, tag ID here. What I always do, I just do a fire event test. So in that way, 
everything syncs up beautifully. And now you can use this tank in your automations. The next automation is gonna help me to disarm my alarm. So in one of my other videos, I made a DIY alarm system with Home Assistant. And with this NFC tag, conveniently positioned close to my front door, I can actually disarm the alarm. Now, you could also have another one to arm it in case that's something you want to do, which might be very useful. But disarming is what I choose to do for now. You can actually use the code even to disarm. Check out the automation, check out the code to see how that is done. The advantage of having this instead of having a keypad is that you can hide, again, that tag anywhere you want and you can have it behind something and people, no one will know there's an NFC tag there. It is always good practice to actually go to NFC tags and rename them and give them some sort of name that makes sense. For example, you can go to your configuration, NFC tags, and give them a name like, for example, garden tag, garage tag, or whatever you're using it for. If you want to find out more about this, let me know and I might make a dedicated video about setting up NFC from scratch, step by step for beginners. Now let's continue with the automations. Now, unfortunately, I'm not really a good gardener and my plant, it seems like it's not in good condition. It's seen better days. So I really might need this automation I actually was working on watering the plant. So if I'm able to know when was the last time I watered the plant and I can track that in Home Assistant and I can use an NFC tag close to the, uh, what, the, the, pot, the pot basically and I just can scan that in with my phone and actually get, I can get a timestamp of when was the last time when the plant was watered. So hopefully that will save a couple of plants out there. Let me know if that's going to be useful for you. And last but not least, the garden lights. Now, in, in a lot of the houses that I've been to, the light to the garden light is normally inside the house. So if you're outside the house and you want to turn on and turn off the light, you're going to have to get up and turn it off, going back in the property. So what you can do is you can have this NFC tag positioned under your garden table and I can actually you can actually scan it to toggle the switch so if it's on it will go back off and if it's off it will turn back on now this is just an example you can use this little NFC tag to trigger any sort of automation you want just sitting in your garden chair if you want to find out more about home assistant and how it works I'm going to ping down a few videos down below how you can get started with a home assistant, but it's got to cost you nothing, just a Raspberry Pi maybe, or an existing laptop that you're not using, some software, and maybe a couple of hours of your time one afternoon. By setting home assistant up, you can actually link up and integrate all of your smart devices, and you can use, for example, the power or NFC tags. But if you haven't got a home assistant, and you've got smart things, a lot of these automations will work anyway. These are just ideas for you to experiment with. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you enjoyed the video, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy the next series of videos. I'm gonna link a playlist here for you to actually go and explore the best of smart home makers. Have a good holiday and try all these automations out and let me know what are your favorite automations with NFC tags in the description down below. Like and subscribe and see you on the next one.